In this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'm going to answer an interesting career question from one of our listeners. One in which the engineer is asking if he should take a non-engineering job temporarily while he looks for other employment. This question is from Adam, who says, I work for an engineering procurement and construction firm as an engineer at a project site. Due to the stage of the project, I am scheduled to be laid off. There are possibilities that I could extend my employment with the firm by taking a position in a non-engineering role. Would you recommend to a young engineer that wants to stay in engineering that they take on a non-engineering role while they seek another engineering position with a new firm? Or should they avoid the non-engineering position and take the layoff while seeking new engineering employment, assuming they have some savings and weren't living paycheck to paycheck? Either way, I plan to seek a new engineering position. I'm just concerned what would look better to a future employer. I am going to answer this in two ways, but my answer to that specific question is absolutely stay there. There is no reason to put yourself into financial debt just because you don't want to take a non-engineering role temporarily. If you are worried about your resume, on your resume, I would just put your engineering role and whatever your other role is, I would lump it in with your job there. And if you only do it for a few weeks or a month, you don't even necessarily have to include it on your resume. So I wouldn't really worry about that side of it. Definitely do it while you look for that other engineering job. However, in terms of your career overall, a more relevant question would be, should you take a role in a non-engineering job for a long period of time for any reason? Whether it is because you can't find another position, whether it's because your company has an opening and they want to give it to you and they will pay you more money? I think ultimately the answer to that question comes back to your goals. If you happen to get a job that isn't engineering but it's management, and your ultimate goal is to be a manager and a leader, then that job might make sense for you, even though it's not 100% engineering, or maybe not engineering at all. However, if you want to be an engineering manager or an engineering leader, and you want to continue to build your engineering skills, taking that non-engineering job is going to knock you off the track of your goals. And the last thing you ever want to do is to get off the track to your goals. And that's why it's always so important to know what your goals are. So, I hope my answer helps you. The answer for you immediately is yes. Take the non-engineering job. Don't go into debt. Continue to earn money while you find that other job. But in the long term of your career, in the big picture, whenever you are presented with the idea of potentially having to take a non-engineering role, consider how it's going to affect the path to your goals. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or on iTunes and I'll see you next week.